I never want to see him again. Yes, you do. I don't. What? You want to deprive Ben of a father? Well, he hasn't got much of one there, has he? Honestly, I never thought I'd hear myself saying this, but you're going to make a better dad than Phyllis. I wouldn't have minded if she'd been some old slapper who deliberately gone with a drunk to rip him off, but you saw what that woman looked like. She was normal. What? Nothing. No, come on. Look, Grant, I'm not saying anything that you haven't said to yourself. I know you and Tiffany have had your troubles, but... Well, even so, you're totally committed to the idea of being a father. The only thing Phil's committed to is the bottle. Totally committed to the idea of being a father, right? Eh? Well, you are. Yeah, well, it ain't gonna make any difference, cos, uh, well, Tiffany's left Walford. You're joking, when? A couple of days ago. Well, is she all right? What about the baby? All I know is that uh, she cleared out the account and then just went. She told Bianca that she'd be in touch. I don't know any more than that. Oh, Grant, I'm sorry. Well, what happened to spark it off? She found out about me and Lorraine. You and Lorraine? I don't believe it. Look, I'm sorry, Kath, I shouldn't have told you. Well, I wish you hadn't. You, Sam, Phil, aren't any of you Mitchells capable of staying on home ground? It's not that simple. Well, it sounds simple enough to me. Your pregnant wife found out about you and another woman. I'm not surprised you walked out. But the only reason I married Tiffany was because she convinced me the kid she was carrying was mine. I only threw her out when she finally admitted it might be someone else's. I'll get it. Hello? Oh, hello, Mum. Yeah. Yeah, OK. Right, I'll see you later. Aunt Sal's going back today. I can move back in. Right. Look, I don't really want anyone else knowing about this. Especially Mum. Well, I can see why. Oh, poor Peggy. What a flaming brood she's got. Then, when I told her I was Phil's wife and not Grant's, she turned around and said to me, you poor cow. There's not many times in my life when I've wanted to die, Pat, but I'm telling you, that was one of them. I'm sorry, Kath, I really am. I thought we were close. But the man I'm living with, I, I don't know him at all. Look at me. I, I'm scared to go out in case people snigger at me behind me back. I, I'm scared to pick up the phone in case something else awful has happened. It's the booze, love. To quote a certain lady, when there's three of you in a marriage, it gets a bit crowded. What you feel on the bottle. What am I going to do, Pat? Can I be brutal? Yeah, go on. Well, there's not a lot you can do right now, love, because you've got no say. You can't stop Phil wrecking his life. But you can stop him wrecking yours. It's time you started taking matters into your own hands. But how? By getting your priorities right. You've got a little smiley face upstairs to think about. And just cos he's little don't mean he ain't taking notice, love. This situation is doing, well, you and Ben nothing but all. Yeah. Really has come to that, hasn't it? I think so, yeah. But more. Shouldn't you be getting back? I'll be wondering where you are. That's right, I'll rank and manage on our own for a bit. Hey, good boy. You're looking better. Get some kit. Just come to a decision, that's all. You always feel better once you've made a decision. You're leaving him. Don't blame me for it, Grant. It's wrecking my life, and more importantly, it's going to wreck Ben's. I don't have the right to do that to him. No, you don't. You do understand where I've got to go? I don't like it, but yeah, I understand. Look, uh, you're going to go straight away. You're going to wait until he gets back. Oh, I don't know what that's going to be, do I? I'm not going far. I'm just going to put a few things in a bag and go in a pats. Well, I'll stay here in case he does come back. Let him know what's going well, on. But don't tell him where I am, though. Not if he's drunk. You really are scared, aren't you? Look, I'll tell you what, I'll go back, sort the pub out, then I'll come back and give you a hand. Right. That's it. Sorry, I didn't mean to wait for that. You're still there. You're always in my house every time I come home. Where the hell have you been? Never mind where I've been. You got something wrong with you, sir. I thought I told you to sling you up. He's been looking after me. Yeah. 
Yeah, I bet he has. Oh, don't you oh, stop! It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. So what's been going on behind my back, eh? What have you been up to? You've been missing for the best part of 48 hours. What? Don't be daft. Just saying that. You walked out the night before last. That's 48 hours in most people's books. That was last night. No, you've lost a day somewhere. No. It's winding me up. All right? Where have I been? You were sleeping with another woman, Phil. That's where you've been. What, what, what are you saying a thing like that for? You're always accusing me of doing things I haven't done. She was here, Phil. Who was? The woman you screwed. You're off your nut, you are. Do you know that? Yeah, you're right. I have been, Phil. But not anymore. Not anymore. What are you doing? What's she doing? The woman came here. She wanted the money back. Said so she met you in the Griffin's head. Yeah, uh, uh, I might, I might have gone there and uh, I might have got talking to someone. What if I did? I slept with me. What's, so what's all the fuss? You've blown it this time. You've been AWOL for nearly 48 hours. She didn't know where you were. You could have been lying dead somewhere for all she knows. She's been out of her mind with worry. Hey, I begged. But let her go. Let her calm down. And you can say, oh, maybe. Phil! You have to put him back. You ain't going anywhere. Will you get out of my way, please? Well, let her go. Grant, stay out of here, all right? She ain't taking my kid away from me. Grant! Go. Leave her alone! Kev, don't go. Kev!